Welcome to our course on arrays. We're going to give you an introduction to arrays and show you uh, the basic attributes and, and how to use arrays and the differences between the different types of arrays. We're also going to show you how to, to look at the uh, array in a perspective of an object. And then we're going to go through adding and removing elements in an array, how to add and remove the first element, how to add and remove that last element, how to add and remove within an index, and, and what that really means, and then how to add and remove in, inside the array of different ranges, etc. Then we're going to look at common operations. We'll look at the map operation, the filter operation, uh, filter operation the aggregation, uh, or so I'm going to say reduce oper operator. And then we'll take a look at collections, and we'll take a look at the map and the set collections. Okay, so first, an introduction to arrays. Now, there's two types of arrays, a built-in array constructor and an array literal. And, and, and the difference between those two we'll discuss. And, and then we'll also look at the perspective of, of the fact that array is an object and what that means and how to use it in, uh, to your advantage. Okay, so there's two types of arrays. There's an array literal and there's a built-in array constructor. With the array literal, you basically can construct an array by just using the left bracket operator, the right bracket operator, and pulling, putting elements in the array. Not strongly typed, I could put different types of, 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 of items in that array. Okay, so that's using the array literal. Um, then there's also a built-in array constructor. So if I do a constant animals equal new array and I say pig, horse, and cow, I'm basically creating an array uh, of animals with those uh, items in it. Okay, so there's uh, advantages and disadvantages of using both. Uh, but initially, let me just tell you this, that using the array literal uh, uses less memory. It uses like two characters versus 11 characters or, or whatever. And, and, um, But there's consequences of, of doing that, okay? So, so typically in the array literal, you'll use this to do little examples, little demos, do some learning, understand it. So you'll see me using a lot in my application. However, when I build production code, I do use the array constructor, the built-in array constructor. And the reason for that is um, I like dynamic data. I like uh, using strongly typed arrays. So, for example, with the animals, if you look at the below, I'll say an animal's an array of strings, and I'll say this dot animals equals new array, and I'll list the um, items in the array as I construct it. Now, um, now, um, if I didn't use the constructor and I just used a declaration, then I could uh, still still um, uh, push items into an, into an, into an array. But in this case here, this array is declared as a string. So if I tried to push a numeric, I would get an error. Um, so, so, so now to just summarize, um, the array literal is more efficient um, than the uh, built-in array constructor. But the built-in array constructor, I use a lot in production code because I like using strong types. I like using dynamic data and it appears to be more useful for me and helps me write more robust code for a production application. So what you'll see is I will give you a lot of examples to trying to teach you using an array literal, but all my, all my code that I build um, uh, typically, uh, typically um, is using uh, the built-in array constructors. Okay, so let's move on. Um, okay, so let's take uh, this example here and we're gonna use this to understand what it means for an array to be an object. So here I have an app component I'm importing component from Angular Core. I'm importing asterisk um, as a cert from a cert. And I basically have an at component annotation with attributes, and I define a selector. I left out the external template. I left out the style sheet. Um, I really did it for real estate reasons in my slide here. But the bottom line is I'm just logging into the console with these examples for arrays just to show you uh, what's coming out in the log file and the assertions and stuff. So me going into the template code and really showing you some nice, fancy, colorful thing is not going to happen during this particular course. But it's good because you need to focus on the facts. And these facts, you need to get down very quickly uh, and use them effectively. And you will find out as you're coding 
uh, how to extend a lot of the stuff that you're learning in this course to more uh, complicated applications. Okay, so we do have an export class app component. We have an animals attribute of the app component, which is a type array, which is parameterized by string, which means this is an array of string elements. Instructor, this animals equals new array, and I put pig, horse, and cow in there. And then what I do is I do an assertion, and the assertion basically says this dot animals of this dot animals dot length minus one, meaning the last element in the array is identically equal to the string cow. Um, and and if it's not, um, it, it'll throw an exception, and and it'll say the last element is cow. Well, I should really say the last element should be a cow. Okay, so. So anyway, uh, uh, just showing you how to use assertion, showing you how to use uh, the array constructor, the built-in array constructor. And now I'm going to go through a change length of array function and show you some more, more uh, uh, object attributes that you can use to, um, of, of your array object. Okay, so here's the change length of array. Now notice I commented out uh, my array here so we could remember what what it looks like okay so here's my change length of an array I have animal array length is initially three right so this is the zero el element this is the one the first element and this is the second element zero one two but the length is three okay so I, I log this animal array length is initially three and then I define the animal length equal to two so what happens now I have pig and horse in my array. I do not have cow. So, so basically what happens is, is um, uh, I log animal array length is now two, and then I say, uh, uh, I assert that the last element in the animals array is now horse. And that passes fine, okay? But if I go to log the animal two element, zero, one, two, zero one two okay if I if I log the second element what what will happen is it'll show up as undefined the element is undefined there and 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 what does that mean well I, I procrastinated in telling you because the question is I don't care what it means uh, pictorially or in memory from from my perspective I mean it's good to understand it but from my perspective, I don't care. I've deleted the uh, the second element. It's no longer there. Um, so so uh, that 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 memory uh, location is undefined. So okay. So so then if I log the animals um, array, basically it'll show me animals equals pig and horse. Uh, notice I didn't have to use the JSON stringify here. It just logged uh, the elements for me. But really. I do want to make sure that I understand that animals is an array, so I do want to see the left and square bracket on the left and right, but the bottom line is it's it's my real estate on my view graph. I, I changed it. So but the bottom line is animals has pig and horse, and the length is now two. So you used an object property to set the length, and, and basically now you have an array with only two elements in it. So it's, ni it's nice in the sense that uh, I have the, the capability of changing things dynamically using object properties and being able to control what I'm working with. Okay, so let's run uh, a particular example uh, and take a look at the array code example. Arrays, um, uh, we'll look at two methods. My arrays um, project has several methods in it. We'll look at these two methods initially. They're the simple methods and, and, and the object properties type of stuff and we'll take a look at that.